Do you know Another One Bites the Dust by Queen? Yes? Well, do you know Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen? Oh, and nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from this monstrosity. Okay, well, do you know We Are the Champions by Queen? these songs. Well, do you want to watch a movie that is over two hours and 15 minutes long that's basically just showing how these songs were made in the most simplistic way possible? Yes? Well, then I have a movie for you. It's called Bohemian Rhapsody, and it just came out, and it is bad. I enjoyed the show. I also write songs. Our lead singer just quit. Then you'll need someone new. I love the way you move on stage. The whole room belongs to you. First off, let's get out of the way the positives, because there are a few. Um, I like the cast. I like Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury. I think he does a pretty good job. And the movie looks nice enough, I guess. The cinematography is has enough energy to keep uh, some audience members interested. The lighting of scenes is good i guess and there's a couple of scenes here and there that have some genuinely good moments in them but that's it this movie is kind of a complete disaster there were two and a half directors attached to this movie plus it seems like there was a lot of studio interference in this one so the, the negatives of this movie are quite extensive um for one the movie is two hours and 15 minutes long and has about mm, less than 90 minutes of actual meat to the story. So it's just stretching material over a long period of time, which absolutely destroys the pacing of the movie. There are some scenes that, like I said, have some genuinely good moments in them. And then there are a lot of scenes that are so painfully boring and flatly shot that it was hard to get anything out of them. And not only that, but it makes this runtime super bloated for some reason somehow the movie is incredibly dull but also incredibly bloated there's way too much that's going on in this movie but there are also random little things with the band that you don't really need to see in this movie that they just tell you about like there's a scene when they make bohemian rhapsody and then they take it to this um music distributor guy played by Mike Myers who just sits in a chair with a bad glued on beard for the, the whole movie. He doesn't move from his chair. And they take it to him and he says, no way. And then it airs on a radio broadcast and then the movie cuts to them recreating the music video for the song. And overlaid over top of that is reviews of the song from the time period that are sh coming on the screen and fading out and saying it's perfectly adequate, it's over long, it's monotonous. And I was like, what is it? What is happening? What's the lyric? Ready, Freddy? Let's do it. And another thing about this movie that just completely fails is the drama. The movie tries so hard to get you to sympathize with Freddie Mercury. And in this movie, you just don't because it never gives me a reason to sympathize with him. It shows his life as if it's a Wikipedia page and then pretends like that's emotional. Where it's like, okay, he lived at his parents house and his dad didn't approve and then he changed his name and then he became a huge hit and then his dad approved of him and then he found out he had AIDS and he found out that the guy that he thought he loved was a snake and then he got him out of his life and then they played the Live Aid concert and then the movie ends. It's a Wikipedia page smeared across the screen over two hours and 15 minutes long and then it tries to pull at your heartstrings with this contrived just lifeless emotion. You need to give your audience a reason to be invested in the main character outside of this was their life, so you should feel bad for them because in this point of their life, they were in a hard place. 
there needs to be something more than just text on a paper that got translated exactly how it was on the paper on screen. You need to have moments of the character having genuine struggles with themselves and genuine struggles with people around them to actually feel emotion. But oftentimes it was just, Freddy is doing this thing and people don't like it. How many more Galileos do you want? Roger, there's only room in this band for one hysterical queen. He decided that he wants to have a solo career out of nowhere, even though he didn't want to two scenes before, and the band members don't like that. But we don't see how they react while he's doing the solo album. We just see that he is becoming an alcoholic and is smoking and is doing crack and is having gay orgies all the time. So feel bad for him because those things are not helping him. They're hurting him because you know that they're already bad. So they're hurting him. And that's all we have to do is just gloss this over and people will care. I think the biggest problem with this movie is that it is the most bland, lifeless, and by the numbers retelling of Queen's story that could have possibly been made. And if I was a member of Queen, th this would seem kind of insulting. There is nothing in this movie for hardcore fans to respect about it because it gets so many things just blatantly wrong. It doesn't seem to try to make this as accurate as possible, even though it has long sequences and stretches where it is nothing but showing how the songs were made, but then it's not even accurate. So 75% of this movie is literally just, hey, do you remember this song? Watch how it was made, except it's wrong. You're a legend, Fred. We're all legends. In the end, you just have this bland retelling of a popular uh, risky band that only a passerby fan of Queen would even really enjoy because they don't know the details, so they don't notice when the details are wrong, and they only know these six popular songs, so when those come on, they can clap. But then when the other songs come on, they go, oh, let's get back to Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't know this one. So overall, it's just a mess. It's clear that there is a lot of studio interference and a lot of ideas that just kind of got meshed together because of the different voices that clearly had a handle on this project. So in the end, you just have this long, bloated, uneven, boring movie about an iconic band that everyone's going to forget about in a month. So I'd probably give it a three or maybe a four out of 10 if I'm feeling generous. It's too bad.